guys, welcome to my fifth how to 100 Blender videos. In this tutorial we'll be looking more at texturing and uh, using images from the internet to create a texture for our object. In this case I'm going to be creating an egg and trying to create that sort of egg eggshell texture that you get from an egg. So we're just going to start off quickly by removing the default cube as per usual. Go to add mesh UV sphere. Sorry, let me just redo that down here. Add mesh UV sphere. And we want to add a smooth shader, which is there on the left hand side. You make the mesh smooth, then your texture is going to look smooth and more accurate. I'm going to press S on the keyboard for scale, then press Z to scale along the Z direction, and then move my mouse to create what roughly looks like an eggshell. Now it's not 100% accurate because uh, one, one end of the egg is more pointier than the other end, so it's up to you to, to mess around with it to create the shape and make it look more realistic, but I'm going to leave it at that. Now I'm going to minimize my Blender page for a second, and at the bottom here, you'll see that I have what looks similar to an egg texture. It actually looks also like a wall, but I've used this and it has an okay effect. So I found this on the internet. So once you find your texture on the internet that you think will work best, download it. And what I've done is I just saved it on my desktop. If you have an editing software tool, I use GIMP. So if, if, I, if I open up the texture that I just downloaded, and just bear with me while it uh, loads up. What I've also done um, to make the texture look more realistic is I've created a, a bump map. So by going to color, desaturate, and OK, you've created a, a, a grayscale to the texture. And I've then gone ahead and gone to filters, map, and bump map to give it, if I press OK, you'll see that it gives it more of a bumpy effect. You can see more details to the the, the texturing, the bumps, the, the roughness of the image. And then you save that on your desktop as well. So in the end, after you do that, you'll have both the, let me just close GIMP down. You'll have both the color texture and the bump map texture. So let's go back to Blender and let's go first to materials. I mean, you want to actually put the textures into the texture tab, but if we go to the materials tab first and press U, then go to the texture tab, we can press new here and add one of the materials. What we're going to do here is go to the type image or movie down here where it says image press open. My image is on the desktop and the first one I'm going to load up is the colored one. I'll put it there and you could call that texture whatever you want eggshell color. Then to add a new texture, click the layer underneath, like so, add new, go to image, then go to open, go to your desktop where the image is saved, and now load up the grayscale bump map. And you can also call that whatever you want egg shell gray. Now let's render this image just to see what happens, just out of curiosity. This is just using the internal render engine. Now all you see is the gray scaled version of the texture. What you want to do here is, if you imagine yourself, if you look at my uh, cursor right now, where I've just selected that blue line, imagine your eyes being under there, looking up towards the textures. 
Now you've got one layer of the grey shell, another layer of the colour shell. At the moment you're only seeing the grey shell because you're directly under it. But you also want the coloured shell to shine through. Now the reason it's not shining through is because if you go to the eggshell grey texture, which is the bump map, scroll down, you'll see here that colour is checked. That means the colour of your texture is showing through. So because the colour is showing through, it's actually preventing the colour of the top layer to shine through the grey layer, if that makes sense. If I select the colour texture and go underneath, and go down here, I can also see that colour is selected. So to simplify matters just now, go to the eggshell grey texture, which is the bump map, move down, deselect colour, and render it. Now you can see the actual colour texture showing through. So it's combining the colour texture with the grey scale texture. But to make things a little more interesting, I'm going to just go to my camera view here and uh, zoom in a little, a little bit more. And now I'm going to go and select my egg and go back to the texture settings. To make things a little more interesting is, as we said before, the color texture is shining through the gray texture. So it's shining through it. But if we go down and we select the gray texture, what we can do now is go down again here and go to normals. And normals is basically creating that bump effect. You know, you remember the, the rough texture? You've got different layers. You've got the top layer and then you've got the rough texture of the, of the image. And the normals is what creates the bump effect. So if, if I just render it now, you will see it getting quite rough. So it's using the image, the roughness of the image, to work out where the, the bumps are taking place. And the reason that's really rough is because we have normal set to one. What we want to do is just maybe bring it down a little bit, render it again, and then you can see that the texture is getting a little bumpy, just like an egg. And that's basically the effect you want to get. So if I can just recap that. You've got the color texture shining through. Shining through the grayscale texture. Because we can see that the, the eggshell color one has got the color setting checked. And the reason it's shining through is because the grayscale texture doesn't have the color checked, but it has the normals checked, which is the bump effect. So it's, a comb it's combining both textures together. And you can see a bit here at the, where my cursor is, it looks a bit warped. And the reason that is, is because you can actually come down to mapping, set sphere instead of flat, and do the exact same for the other texture, the colored one. Set it to sphere instead of flat. Render it one more time. And there you go. You've got what looks like an egg texture. And once you start messing around with the lighting and the shading and samples and put a, a base a flooring to it, the render will look a lot better. So I hope this tutorial on texturing and layer stacking will come in handy and I look forward to doing the next video. Thanks very much for your time guys and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.